One of the most exciting rooms, I mean, most of the rooms are quite exciting, but one of the, the biggest kind of cells, I guess, of the exhibition mm. is this central gallery that we're in now, where we have two versions of Leonardo's The Virgin of the Rocks, one that's normally in the Louvre and, of course, one that hangs in the National Gallery. Why? I mean, this is unprecedented. It's, it's unprecedented, and probably even Leonardo never saw these two pictures together. And so this is, but this is certainly the first time in 500 years that the two pictures have been in the same space. This is the moment, I think, that lots and lots of art historians, and I hope the wider public, have been waiting for. It was a picture that had been commissioned by the confraternity of the Immaculate Conception, the Immaculate Conception of the Virgin Mary, in Milan for their chapel abutting the Church of, of San Francesco. So it had the context of a, a very standard religious um, work, um, and Leonardo had created this thing that was exquisite um, and needed to be looked at you know, as close as we are to one another. Um, and I think he realised that this was a picture, therefore, that needed, um, that demanded to be look, seen differently and that he wanted more money for, quite straightforwardly. And so as a result, um, he asked for more and didn't get it. And I think what happened then was that he sold it to somebody else. In a fit of pique. In a fit of um, greed. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, and we don't like to think of our great geniuses as greedy. <laughs> no, they have to live, poor things. Um, and, um, and I think as a result, he, he, then, um, he then was still contractually obliged to paint a, a second version. And by then, he, he, th he thought he was thinking about painting differently. For people who are perhaps not so familiar with the paintings, at first glance, they appear extremely similar indeed. It's the same composition, mm -hmm. there's the same rocky landscape, mm -hmm. which is the, forms the background. Mm -hmm. So what are the chief differences between the two paintings? It's very interesting. I mean, essentially, they are the same composition. There are very subtle differences. For example, the angel's pointing hand that's in the first Paris version has been eliminated. And the angel itself, rather than looking out at the viewer and, and, let, and inviting them into the picture as it does in the Paris painting, is, is now turned away from the viewer and has this kind of introspective expression. And in this, that first picture, it's, it's full of extraordinary detail, um, of, of incredible observation of, of plants, of, of rocks, of geology, all rendered with uh, unbelievable accuracy. In the London picture, on the other hand, it's still completely convincing from the point of view of of, you know, feeling as if everything in it is right, but and yet everything's a bit heightened, in fact. The plants, for example, are actually invented. They're a little bit of this plant and a little bit of that plant. And he says, you know, the way, of, the way to create is to, to synthesize, to take what is most beautiful in nature and to put it together. And at that point, what he's doing is saying, a painter's mind is akin to that of God, it's God himself. Um, that, and so his own creativity his own God-given talent, if you like, is somehow reflective of, of God's creation. And that a painter can get closer to that perfect idea of everything that God holds in his mind, this is the, the belief, um, than, than we actually experience in daily life. And one of the things that's really remarkable about the London painting is the sheer lack of colour. It's this extraordinary collection of silvery browns and blues and greys, rather than... There's no red, for example, in that picture. It's quite striking. It's quite important with Leonardo to notice absence as well as presence. Maybe the unanswerable question, but um, which one's better? They're so different, it's apples and oranges, it seems to me. Um, and, you know, there are things I love in both of them. I'm actually not going to answer that question, not just because I won't, but because I can't. 